What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Monday morning to you. I am so excited for this week. We are in a series called The Red Letters, and we're in Matthew chapter 13, but I'm excited because this week is full of parables. Parables are one of my favorite things in all the Bible. I've always loved reading them, teaching them, studying them. Uh, they're fascinating. If you don't know what a parable is, it's very simple. Jesus was a teacher, and when he taught the masses, he many times told stories. They were just kind of fun stories. And we would say it like this. It's an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. So it was a clever little story with spiritual insight and depth mixed into the story. And so I'm going to read one for you right now. And as a matter of fact, we're going to spend the next few days talking about this one parable because this one parable is is different than most of them in the sense that this is one of the only parables that Jesus actually fully explains himself. And it's so good. Are you ready? Um, It's called the parable of the sower. Jesus said, behold, a sower went out to sow some seed. And as he was sowing, some of the seed fell on the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some seed fell on stony places, and they didn't have much earth, so they immediately sprang up because they had no depth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they just withered away. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But other seed fell on good ground, and it yielded a crop, sometimes a hundred or thirty or sixty-fold He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And so, fascinating parable, right? So Jesus goes on a few verses later to explain it. And he says, hey, your heart is like one of these grounds. And the word of God is like seed. And so the word of God goes out and it tries to get into your heart. But some people have a hardened heart. The wayside was the the roadway that was traveled on that had been hardened over time by people walking over it. And it's like... When you get really hard ground, the seed can't get in, so the birds just come and and pluck it away. The the second one was stony ground, and the the seed had no root. The third one was thorny ground, and and the weeds choked it out. And the last one was good ground. And normally, if you're anything like me, you'd look at this and say, oh, well, my heart is like one of these grounds. Which one do I have? I want to have a good heart. I want good ground, right? Where where God's word is received, right? And so we're asking ourselves, you know, do I have a hardened heart? Do I have a a busy heart or whatever it is? And sometimes we look at other people, like, ooh, they have a hardened heart. Or, you know, they have a good heart, you know? And I want us to change the way we think about the parable. Because I think looking at it like that is actually a poor way to look at it. The way they would have looked at it is, is not, do I have one of these grounds and which one is my heart like? They would have actually thought, in my heart, every one of these grounds is somewhere. And let's be honest, there are some areas of our life where we're good ground and we're so open to receiving the word of God and we're just wide open saying yes to Jesus right away. But we've got other areas, and let's talk about this one. We've got other areas of our life where maybe our heart is hardened. And when the seed comes, the word of God comes, we're like, eh, we resist. We don't even want to understand it. We, we don't care. We reject it even. And so big, big two questions I want us to ask ourselves today. Is there any area, any category of, of life? Because some areas we say yes to Jesus and some areas like, ah, I don't want that. Is there any area or any category of life where we're not saying yes to Jesus? Because maybe our heart is hardened. Second question is this, why is my heart hardened? Because what I've discovered is, is that my heart is hardened for a reason. It, it, it didn't come that way. It, it became that way uh, because of some experience, some traumatic event, some difficulty, some painful experiences. Uh, again, it was, the, it was the road that had been walked on over and over. And ha- Have you had a bad experience? And, and I know this is true because some of you have had a bad experience with another pastor or a church or, or, or another person that called themselves a Christian and they, they wounded you and offended you. And, and sometimes you can get really turned off to the things of God because of a wound or a hurt that you have that has hardened your heart. And so here's what I know, though. Any area where we're not saying yes to Jesus, any area where our heart is hardened is an area of our life where we're not thriving. And Jesus wants to take that area of our heart and turn it into good ground so that that thing opens up, says yes to the Word of God, says yes to Jesus, and so that we can begin to thrive again. Can I get an amen? And so let me pray for us today. Holy Spirit, would you help reveal to us, is there an area of our life where we're saying no? Is there an area of our life where we've become hardened and calloused maybe even? And God, would you do a work in us and soften our heart, heal our heart even, Lord God, so that we might be good ground. We pray this in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen. Church, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.